Today, our verse is Jeremiah 26, verse 16. Then the officials and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve the sentence of death, for he has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. Jeremiah is one of the prophets who was heavily persecuted in his ministry. On this occasion, he spoke again boldly in the temple before the priests and the prophets. He prophesied against the temple and the city of Jerusalem that they would be destroyed except they repent of their evil ways and walk in the ways of God. When Jeremiah finished speaking, they seized him that he must be put to death for making such prophecies. When the officials of the king heard, they came and took their seats, seats for judgment, to listen to Jeremiah and the accusations against him. Before them, the fearless Jeremiah repeated the same prophecy telling them what it was and that it was a warning from God. Then he told them to do with him whatever they wanted. But that if they kill him, they will be destroying an innocent life sent by God. When the officials heard Jeremiah, they turned against the previous judgment of the priests and prophets. Their judgment is what we have in our verse today. This man does not deserve to die. He has spoken in the name of the Lord our God. Jeremiah teaches us powerful lessons. How often are we afraid to speak truth to authority, to our bosses, to our parents, just to align with the majority view? Jeremiah is prepared to suffer because he was very convinced that what he was saying was from God. Sometimes do we say things to please people, not to be seen as different or not to hurt feelings? That is not Jeremiah. Another lesson we learn from Jeremiah is to be ready to accept the consequences for whatever we stand for, provided we are absolutely convinced that we are in the right. John the Baptist will suffer a similar fate and be killed for speaking truth to Herod, who married his brother's wife in contravention of the law. Finally, we shouldn't expect Persecution from people who are far away from us. Persecution, oppression, discrimination, and ill treatment most times will come from those who know us, those who work with us, or share something in common with us. In the case of Jeremiah, they were the priests and the prophets with whom he worshipped in the temple. They were not far away from him. But what do we do? We have to behave like Jeremiah, stand firm and be on the side of God. Lord, we pray that you give us the courage to face persecutions when we are fighting the cause of truth and justice and to be able to speak truth to authority. Amen. Now, I wish you a very happy day and God's blessings.